Just a note before the video, I am not a Muslim, nor do I know much about the faith, so please forgive any sort of cluelessness or unintentional distastefulness in this video, as it was not meant to insult or belittle, it's simply because I have no clue what I'm looking at. I have respect for all religions and believe every abandoned building should be documented, especially if it was once of significant cultural heritage. The organization's website states that the Muslim World League is an international non-governmental Islamic organization based in the holy city of Mecca. It aims to present the true Islam and its tolerant principles, provide humanitarian aid, extend bridges of dialogue and cooperation with all, engage in positive openness to all cultures and civilizations, follow the path of centrism and moderation to realize the message of Islam and ward off movements calling for extremism, violence and exclusion for a world full of peace, justice and coexistence. And without further ado, this is what remained of their old Melbourne headquarters back in 2017. Enjoy! Muslim World League, Australia, New Zealand, South Pacific. Right, we're here. Oh, window. The Muslim Centre. Fresh doors locked. I love when windows are still intact but they're so graffitied on the other side. That's car park. There's one window that's smashed you can get in the front. We will avoid doing that if there's an easier way to get in from the back, which we're gonna go and see if there is now. This might be it. Oh, it's heaps of graph, yeah. Window pieces. So here is like the underground car park. Can you open it? Oh, the gold that's down there. It's you through to the car park. Underground area. We just scared someone off. Just getting out of that window. Just go, just go. Blatant, blatant. There's nails. Just go. So all this under here would have been uh, underground car parking for the people to park. But um, yeah, that's it. All right, coming up the stairs now from the car park. Whoa, this place is mad as. This place is sweet. Okay, up the stairs into office suite number four. <coughs> Hello. <coughs> it's pretty much office number four. In this door here, probably just would have been an office, just random little things doodads, and a whole pallet box full of interesting Muslim literature. <laughs> There's still copper. Oh, come on, guys. You're not doing your job properly. Okay. So, in this room, probably would have been an office, but importantly, now, somebody's bedroom. Mm -hmm. And you can tell it's fresh because we've got snacks. So, we've got to be on alert on this explore. There's like a box there with Muslim stuff on it. If you have any clue what this stuff says, please let me know. Box with heaps of Quran stuff. Muslim World League. Yeah, little bed. Just sort of like durries and stuff. Durries, defunct sock, moldy can. Through this door here, number of the office. Okay, so we're in like this little room here. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, just a little office. Um, lots of like literature, still like binded, never read. Um, Muslim World League books. Are you feeling safe? Not really. <laughs> yeah. Okay, look into one of these offices. Defunct chair, Islamic books all over the place. More Islamic books. That look pretty awesome. Burning down Mecca. Why would they want that? Hello, sir. Oh yeah, so pretty much just like empty offices, books. I know, would have been cool, but now it's trash. <laughs> Shoop, coming in. What have we got? Literature, literature, literature. A white shirt, a piece of glass, Bex glass. Um, what else is like of note? Random funky stuff. What's this? Some type of business card. Whoa, what's this? Oh, whoa, it's like someone's ID. It's like, interesting. Office of interest, if you must know. Oh, the Ash boys have been here. Vanilla essence. It contains 35% alcohol and you don't need to be over 18 to buy this or the Eshe Bex boys buy it and just guzzle it. Yuck. Broken 
come and back out. Homeless person's bed, kitchenette. Surprises me that the roof things have not been smashed in all these years. All right, from the staircase, we've got toilets. Woo! Gents. Hey! Uh, look how low this sink is. Like, that's my legs? There's no handle, so I can't test if the water works. Let's see what else is in here. Very nice doorstop file here. Some type of documentation there. Okay, for some reason, got a shower. I don't know why they have a shower in an office complex, but I guess it could not be useful. We've got a shower here with copper. I don't know what they're thinking. Come on, guys, get on this. Please don't actually f bags. Ominous fibrous materials. Ominous. <laughs> yeah, I reckon it is a bit out of order. Um. Oh. All right. So, women's toilets, ladies' toilets. Let's check them out. The ladies' toilets. Ladies' toilets. Ladies' toilets. Ladies. Oh no! Oh. Have a look, Anthony. Oh. That's probably where the homeless person is going to go to the toilet. Hey! This toilet has been replaced by a chair. Look at this uh, thing from a fire extinguisher. This is a good way to find out when a building was abandoned. The last test was 2008 and it never happened again in 2009. So this place probably closed down in 2009. Some type of inappropriate tidbit. Interesting cassette. <laughs> right next to a heroin needle wrapper. Signature security group. Cupboard. Completely trashed. Okay, into another office. Office number two. This is the state of it. Hey, Anthony. Hey. Yeah, it's pretty trashed. Kind of focus. Okay, Serene, let's check out the offices. Defunct copying machine. Whoa. Islamic fat beats. Got like, I don't even know what that is. Probably don't want to know either. All Islamic newspaper. From August 2011. Some type of Islamic newspapers. Getting a bit active on that cucumber there. Mouse tools. Sorry if my jokes are a bit grating. There's some airwick. Rubbish. There's like architectural plans for mosques and stuff here. These designs are so awesome. Some details. I have no clue where Ernest is. What's this? That's so cool that all their documents are just in Arabic. I hope that's Arabic. Don't know what that is. Ancient phone. Um, they're just like an office, really. Uh, just a lot of junk, a lot of documents. But just a little office here, really. All right. Having a look at these offices. We'll check out this one first. Okay, little office. A lot of random junk, really. Um, Fiji Muslim League Annual Report 1992. That's pretty cool. That's sick. I love all this like Muslim magazines. I never even knew these were a thing. A gift for the sake of Allah, SWT, not for sale. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. And I'll let you read the rest if you want to pause the video. Voice of Freedom. I oh, know, just a little like tidbits, really. I wonder what this is. I think it's like Chinese translation of the Quran. Well, I hope that's Chinese. Pot, 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 pot. I don't know, just lots of random documents. Some people getting a little bit active. Muslim World League. Just so many documents. I could be here for hours. All right, so office is shoop. And you've got another office here. Let's go check it out. The doorway is just flooded with documents. <laughs> Bexer has just ravaged this filing cabinet. Whoops. Ancient Telstra phone brochure. Oh, look at that phone. That is vintage. This is so vintage. Spring 1993 catalog. Oh, look at that handset. This is so vintage. I'll just get like a quick flip through. 
A letter from Telecom. Sick. Ancient handset. Oh my god. Oh. Ancient computers. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Alibian Muslim Society. I love how everything is just in Arabic. They didn't even, you know, bother writing it in English. I just think that's so cool. Islamic Council of Victoria from 1999. Personal superannuation. Radio National Encounter Prize. It's weird. It's interesting. Just like some... Yeah. No. Nah. What's this? Member's handbook on disc. Whoa, what's this? Whoa. There's some special leggings here. Is that like part of being a Muslim, those pants? They look sort of crafty. Awesome pants. All right, we're pretty much finished with this room. Let's go into the room with Anthony in it. Just walking over everyone's hard work. Whoa, this is cool. That's sick, it's like a little postcard. Coming out, coming in. What have we got? We've got a lovely journal. Are these Qurans? Didn't we decide these were Qurans? Only one way to find out. Even in English, I can't read that, so okay. there's no one way to find out. Possibly some druggies going on in here. Boing, 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 oh. boing. Who could that be? Hello. Oh, hi. Uh, stories from my railway adventures. Heritage yeah. that we were in some wooden carriages. And uh -huh. it was yeah. a So I guess I'll start by saying, yeah, so I ended up Okay. Just sort of like an office, it's sort of hard to document the space, but yeah, it's pretty cool. The out and in tray has been completely shrecked. You know what this is? They would have got hot wax and used this little thing to put a little hot wax seal on an envelope. So many interesting documents. I don't know, I could be here all day. I'll save you the pain. All right, there's still one more little office to check out, which is this. Wow, look at this. Confidential documents. Confidential documents from 2011. Proposed model for setting up a new structure in Australia and New Zealand for certification of halal exports to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, KSA. 2011 on those documents. Must have closed sometime after 2011. Ancient computer stuff. Oh, this is cool. Land Cruiser booklet. That is cool. I love these old car booklets. Street talk. Self-defense. Picture of car. Experience wide open spaces. Top of the town. Image. Survival kit. End of book. Um, I don't know, just more Islamic documents. Certificate of participation to Mr. Muhammad. For some reason, there's a scanner to a shop. No clue why though. All right, I think you've seen enough coming out. Okay, so the door we came in through goes out obviously, but there's a door in this corner over here which leads to a kitchenette. Coming into this little kitchenette, it's trashed, defunct little kitchenette it's pretty sweet namco furniture namco ominous pop top tea tray no anthony bestie look it's just like a tray oh. of meat what is that dude don't touch it let's manipulate it what is it it's dates so it's not that oh. gross i thought it was meat oh, that's still Yuck. festive date crown this whole place is just strewn in garbage manic it's like some oats as well little towels and stuff so yeah just a little kitchenette really from this kitchenette leads into this kitchenette room in this room there's a stove Little sinkoid. It's pretty cool. This office here, this was probably its kitchenette. Then in here, this kitchenette was probably this office's kitchenette. Got a stove. I don't see that many 80s stoves. This is cool. Vintage oven, fan forced oven. Anything in the grill? You never know. No. Nah. Um, oh no. Somebody hasn't done their dishes. That ain't too sweet. Bottle of urine, anyone? Bottle of urine, anyone? That ain't too sweet. Stuff. Stuff. Got like some crockery. Oh, don't tell me the tea bags are still in here. Oh, there's still tea bags. That's sick. There's a picture of an under construction mosque. Heaps of pictures of an under construction mosque. I have no clue where. Doesn't look like Australia though. Sick. Some type of hospital CD. Okay, so out of the kitchenette, secondary kitchenette, with stove comes this office featuring an Anthony. Let's do a four corners of this room. 
Right from the get go, we've got some journals. March 2010. Um, newspaper here from 2013. Some type of cassette and some type of happy chappy. Whoa, what is this? I have no clue what that is. Does anyone have any clue what that's for? It's not that old though. Hmm, probably a printer or something. More documents. So cool. Made by Sona Carrario. Somebody touched the thermostat. Islamic cassettes. We meet again, happy chappy. Booklet about a mosque. Hmm. Oh, this is cool. It's like all the info about a mosque. Another Quran. Warning! These premises are electronically monitored by signature security systems. Booklet for a mosque and multi-purpose complex. <laughs> Message from the Prime Minister of Australia. And it's Julie Gillard, so this is quite old. Ew. Yuck. Just, just like, oh, mosque plans here. Some other diagrams. This mosque is going to be built in Hopper's Crossing. I'm guessing it's already built by now. Werribee Islamic Centre. Muslim Community School. Another confidential document left here. Ding. Ink. Unopened documents. The effect of Islamic legislation on crime prevention in Saudi Arabia. Proceedings of the si si Symposium. This book looks really interesting. I might just take this. Don't! Don't! I'll, I'll, you take that. I'll chop. No! Chop. Ah! Proceedings of the si si Symposium. As you can see, the wall is just taking a seat. Uh, this is not straight edge. These Venetian blinds have just packed it in. Here comes the tram! There goes the tram. The former front entrance is pretty trashed. You can see that the vandals originally broke in the front door, but it's been boarded up. Hey, no vaccine. Muslim World League. Work hours. I'm taking that very seriously. The security sensor has been spray painted. Urbex and Zed, you're leaving a trace. It's like a wooden ball. That is weird. Literature. I love how vintage and 80s this office is. I also like the dustiness on top of the light fixtures. This office is just flooded with documents. I'll just give you a quick breeze by the floor docks. Just way too many to look at. The two holy mosques in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Vintage handset? Who dare deface that lovely picture? Some type of communism thing here. The journal, Ramadan, the month of mercy and forgiveness. 1999. That's interesting. Some dusty tomes. I feel like this room could have been a bookshop or something, like a Islamic bookshop. I mean, it makes sense. It's an Islamic center. You're going to get like Muslim people who are going to come here. They're going to want to read, you know, there's like Christian bookshops. So there's probably Muslim bookshops. Dear all, Muslim World League. And this is from 2017. What? Dear all, our coming to this open inspection day, the 3rd of the 5th, 2017, in the address we are at is highly appreciated. Please email blah, blah, blah. World That's League. May of this year. What the heck? That's so weird. How long has this place been abandoned? Oh wow, like definitely longer than that. Definitely, not since April. I've known about it for like two years. Books, more books. I've had enough of books. In this room, little kitchenette. Kitchenette. It's pretty cool. Jar of concerning things. Probably a security system. Just like more books and stuff. 
this book area is labeled Asian. I don't know why. A, B, C, Turkish, Islam. Books, more books. I've had enough of books. Books, Christian ethics. Another bookshelf in the corner. Like kind of so many tomes. Journals, books, Qurans, books, books, documents, books, books, piles of books. I've had enough of books. <laughs> no, vintage table salt bong. Look, there's just like a stem piece whole remnant. The light fixture is just dangling. The whole ceiling has just been ruined because people have been in here stripping copper. This is checkpoint here. Maybe there were scanners here. Maybe the shop scanner we saw in the other office used to be for this bookshop. Cheeky number one. All right, so we're coming out now. Monkey penis. Oh, so this is all the underground car parking for the center. Hey, um, as you can see, a lot of stuff. This is the stairs up to the main office complex. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Little bird's nest here. Pile of garbage, heroin needle thingy above. You can see water has been rushing in here. From over there. Down here there's just pallets and pallets of books. Such a waste. Such a waste of books but they're here. This is the audio of interest. Looking at lots of things in this abandoned Muslim center thing. Look at this room. La 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 la. Okay good. Now this is a mad piece. G -g -g garbage. This light bulb is nicely intact. This reminds me of the abandoned book depository in Detroit. No, but like I've seen pictures. A very awesome vintage CRT. This fire hose was last tested in 2008. Oh, 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 there's a bird on top of the fire extinguisher. Hello, birdie. Hey, boy. Yay. Hey, sir! There's just pallets of Qurans here. Why couldn't they just dump that at a mosque and said for free? Well, what is this? World Atlas, but in um, Arabic, I'd assume. Little under staircase nook. What's under here? Literally nothing. Oh god, do you need my hand? No, I'm just gonna drop. Just grab. Oh. Uh, yeah. Let go? Yeah. Ooh, jacket. Oh shit, it's stuck on an owl, it's ripped. It's... Okay, it's off, you're off. Uh, He's down. Uh, There's a needle right yeah. there. Oh shit. Does it have a cap on it? No. Oh shit. did it touch you? No, I think so. Heroin needle uncapped right next to it. You could have got AIDS, like really? I'm actually, yeah, that's how AIDS spreads, like through needles. You could have got like hepatitis C. All right, so we're out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more abandoned places. So yeah, thank you for watching. Pretty, pretty much it, let's go.